This is the Prezi app. Once you've logged into Prezi, you'll see three buttons across the bottom. One says on my iPad, one says on Prezi.com, and one says featured. If you're logged in, any of the apps or any of the Prezi's that you've created will show up on your iPad as well as on Prezi.com if you've saved them to both. To begin, go ahead and click up at the very top right hand corner and click New Prezi. When you click New Prezi, it automatically will open up the templates. You can choose a template that you like. Maybe I'll choose the bicycle. And it automatically has set up for you the different slides. So you can see over on the left hand side, there's different slides with circles in them. So you can see the overall picture of your Prezi and then each of the different slides on the left is where your um, Prezi will zoom in and out of. So let's go ahead and start creating. We're going to put our title on here. And we're going to just say uh, apps for instruction. And hit return. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here and click on number two. And it will show me that I can put in here um, a title. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a title of um, Educreations, which is what we created last week. And it allows me to choose a photo for that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the web. So I'm going to close out. I'm going to go to Safari. And I'm going to type in Edu Creations. And I'm going to go to Images. And I'm going to choose that first image. If I hold down on the image, it will say I have some choices. I'm going to save that image. And that just put it on my um, into my camera roll. I'm going to do the same thing and go ahead and put get a couple other ones. So we'll go ahead and get show me while we're in here. Oop. Whoops, there we go. Images. And I probably should put show me app. <laughs> And that gives me a couple different choices. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And hold down on it again, save that image. Let's go ahead and do Prezi app. And I'm going to save that image. And our other app for this week is Haiku Deck. And last but not least, slide idea. And now that I have all my images, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Prezi.
and I can see in the background there's an image and I can choose that and it's going to ask me if I'd like to access my photos. Go ahead and click OK. And we were working on educreations there. So once that loads, I'm going to say choose existing and I'm going to go to my camera roll and I'm going to go to that edu edu creations image. I'm going to go to slide number three and on this one we're going to use show me this one they have actually set up to be text but I can easily change that by at the very bottom you can see that there's different choices for what it's going to look like I could have text with a picture um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose just to have a picture and I'm going to get that show me app picture I'm going to go to slide number four and we have haiku deck choose my photo and maybe on this one I want to add a little bit of text and I'll just say this this is my favorite app so far okay and the next one I have Prezi, and I'm going to choose to switch that up, and add my Prezi photo. Now, I have one more app, so you see I can go ahead and put another frame in there. You just click on Add Frame, and it's going to add in another circle for me automatically. And now I can go to number six and say uh, Slide Idea. And I can put my last app in there. Okay. So now that I've finished, I can go back and see each of my slides, how it will kind of bounce between each one, and then go back to my home. Um, to present it to students, all I have to do is click present here at the top, and with each click, it will zoom in on the next slide. And I could talk through my presentation about each of these different apps. Okay. And with a double click it will go back to the beginning. And that's the Prezi app.